Well, hey there, everybody. This is the time of year for Looking Back. This is the part of the show where we've experienced 2020 in all different kinds of ways. Of course, we've had a lot of laughs, and we're going to share those tomorrow. But we've also had some more serious moments. So today, we're sharing some of those favorite moments from our most Buffalo story of the day that were a bit more on the serious side. Some dog people think we never know what we might get. For all the fun we have with the most Buffalo stories of the day, we also sometimes have some more serious moments in 2020 provide plenty of opportunities for that as we know and when they came around we wanted to be able to talk about them while reminding ourselves that even in the more difficult moments there is hope I don't need you to be a ray of sunshine today I don't know just what to say right now I'm afraid of not having the right words there's always an option to borrow someone else's words, of course, and as a Bonaventure girl, I consider the words of St. Francis, where there is darkness, bring light, sadness, joy, and all that. Most buffalo at its core is about shining a light, whether it be to enlighten or to entertain. And this moment at the end of the show has traditionally been the lightest spot of all a reliable respite from whatever troubles may come our way. For anyone who may not have been paying attention to the vast issues of inequality in our nation, for whatever reason, the volume has been turned all the way up, making it impossible to ignore. It is playing out in real time, right in front of our eyes, right here in our community, making it inhumane to turn away. So many people are saying that they are angry, they are horrified, they are sad, they are disgusted, they are very uncomfortable and incredibly tired. And so many of their fellow neighbors are saying, what took you so long? Warriors fighting the good fight. They did it then and women are still doing it now in all kinds of ways, at home, at work, and as any woman knows, one of the biggest battles of all is always going on right inside our own heads. Which, by the way, are filled with ideas, suggestions, and solutions. Good ones. Not to mention the whereabouts of your keys, your sneakers, password to your Wi-Fi, dog's birthday, the name of that restaurant you went to that one time, you know, the one that had the really good flan. And we always have time to talk about that breakup or haircut or homework assignment. We are balancing work and life, mostly ours, but sometimes other people's. Women do all this and then some every day. Like I said, we know a little something about how to get things done. So when it comes to women having the right to vote and the ability to decide who gets to be in charge, all I can say is you're welcome. Welcome. My message to you today and my challenge for you going forward is to be brave enough to not worry about being brave, not for yourself, not for anyone else. Find instead the courage to be vulnerable. There is great strength to be found in that kind of honesty. Don't be afraid to be curious, flawed creatures. Ask for help, make a mess, make mistakes, make it up as you go along because guess what? No one really knows for sure what they're doing in life. And while this time is challenging, it is a great time to just try things out. But back to today, this moment, these smiles and these sparkling eyes and the bright light and hope your faces bring to all of us right now. We are so proud of you, class of 2020. We can't wait to see what you'll do next, but after this year, please know, after all you've been through, it's totally okay to just take a minute for yourselves. Well, that seems like a good place to leave it for today. Tomorrow, we are sharing the most Buffalo stories of the day that really made us laugh. And by we, I mean Franco and me, if it made you guys laugh, um, really, that was just a bonus. So we hope you will join us for that. Until then, I'm Kate Wellshofer. Be well, stay well, and I will see you next time.